apparently our reactor core exploded. Tell me how an RBMK reactor core explodes. Because it did. As I presumed, there's no answer. It's disgraceful. To spread disinformation at a time like this. So what's going on then? If it ain't that serious, what's happening? Explain it. Farmy, why did the deputy chairman see graphite on the roof? That's not possible. Perhaps you, you saw burnt concrete. Lies, the lies, the lies. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Keep the Commentary. I'm your girl, Dez, and if you are new here, welcome. So today, we're going to be watching Chernobyl Season 1, Episode 2 for the first time. Let's go ahead and get into it. Y'all, <clears throat> I have no coffee today. I got water. Water. Yep. I am going to try to stay calm. <laughs> no coffee. Maybe I could drink coffee after, but I can't drink coffee before I watch these uh, episodes. <laughs> I don't know how to get rid of this. What is that? Whatever. Seven hours after the explosion, 8.30 a.m. Definitely going to have to get some coffee, though, afterwards, because, yeah, I'm already kind of sleepy, and y'all know I got a two-year-old. Spoiling it, huh? It never run. Leak? No. It's coming from outside. The Americans? I like her. She moves quickly. ID 131. It's not military, it's uranium decay. U235. Oh. Reactor film. No one's answering the phone. Mm hmm. I like her. Get everyone started on an IV. We don't have enough. Of all the children, then. We don't have enough. As many as you can. Help me! Help me! You were the to fight if you can open. Stop pushing, please! Some of you guys said that some of this stuff is true and some of it is exaggerated for TV. Um, I guess we can just discuss like the episodes that we've already watched together, but don't tell me. No spoiler alerts. <laughs> don't tell me about, you know. Yeah, y'all know. Y'all know. Oof, y'all. I sure do wish I had my coffee because I'm tired. I know I get up early. I get up at 5 o'clock, so it's early right now. So someone in the comments said that this is the guy from the beginning that we saw so yeah it's clearly him but <laughs> that was a guy that they called um on the phone at the end of um the last episode all right professor they're ready uh oh professor and they already told him don't ask questions he just there to answer their questions basically and he looked like he got a lot of questions I'm pleased to report that the situation in Chernobyl is stable. In terms of radiation, Plant Director Brihano reports no more than 3.6 Rontgen. Me too, Mr. Hey. Oh! Pardon me? I told him not to ask questions. Professor, if you have any concerns, feel free to address them with me later. There's, there's graphite on the ground means it wasn't a control system tank that exploded. It was the reactor core. It's open. Bukhana reports that the reactor core is intact. And as for the radiation... Yes, 3.6. I think the true number is much, much higher. I hope they don't beat him up or nothing. Is he telling the truth? An RBMK reactor uses uranium-235 as fuel. Winds will carry radioactive particles across the entire continent. Most of these bullets will not stop firing for 100 years. But this concern stems entirely from the description of a rock. Yes. So I want you to go to Chernobyl. Oh. 
You personally, you report directly back to me and take Professor Legasso with you. I'm like, I, w I don't want to go anyway. If he's saying it's dangerous like this. Meeting a child. I ain't had no face mask back then. I had to go make me some coffee because I'm tired. I got my coffee and it's warm and smells lovely. <laughs> In a nuclear plant, we use something called fission. A neutron is uh, a bullet. <laughs> yes. Good. I know how a nuclear reactor works. No, I don't need you. Excuse me? <laughs> well, I'll go home then. Can you help me? I need to find my husband. Not now. Get away from them. Oh my god. You want to get sucked? Go. <laughs> please, take her. Please, take her. I mean, but if she's already in there breathing and stuff, ain't she gonna automatically be sick? Ignitenko, six paramilitary fire and rescue unit. I need to find him. He's being transported by helicopter to Moscow. You wanna see him go to Moscow? But they're not letting us leave here. Tell them Major Burak allows it. Uh, when are they taking him? Now. What have they done? Look, that's graphite on the roof. The core's exposed. That's radiation ionizing the air. Get us over that building! Oh my... If you fly directly over that core, I promise you by tomorrow morning you'll be begging for that bullet. What's wrong with him? I'm here yeah. about Chernobyl. Such a lovely time. Visit again soon. I will. Why are these... Uh, why are some of these people, like the higher up people, being standoffish about it. Like, they gotta breathe the air in, too. And your families do, too. I must tell you, this is why no one likes scientists. But when there isn't a problem, they're everywhere spreading fear. I know about Chernobyl. Hundreds of thousands of people are going to get cancer, and God knows how many more will die. There has been an accident at Chernobyl, but I've been assured there is no problem. I'm a nuclear physicist. Wow. Before you were deputy secretary, you worked in a shoe factory. What? Nuclear phys physicalist. I can't even say it, but what? Wow. To the workers of the world. That's an amazing job. She keep everybody safe as best as she can. Stable iodine. Well, keep your thyroid from absorbing radioactive iodine. Get as far from Minsk as you can. Overkill. Big Karloff showing off to make us look bad. Doesn't matter how it looks. We'll tell them the truth in the simplest terms possible. We'll be fine. He out here smoking cigarettes. They just don't care. Karloff and I are honored that you're alive. Deeply, deeply honored. I have a list of individuals who we believe are accountable. Mm. He's looking like I'm breathing this. Will the mass protect them? Apparently, our reactor core exploded. How we have an RBMK reactor core explodes? Because it did. I presumed. There's no answer. It's disgraceful. To spread disinformation at a time like this. So, what's going on then? If it ain't that serious, what's happening? Explain it. I mean, why did the deputy chairman see graphite on the roof? That's not possible. Perhaps you, you saw burnt concrete. Lies, the lies, the lies. I want to go and get as close to the fire as you can. Understand that even with lead shielding, it may not be enough. Then I'll do it myself. Okay. Go. Hmm. <sighs> they got him stressed out. He's back. Uh oh. We already know. He's just about to confirm it. It might be worse. <laughs> now let's poison. Before you walk over to me, sir, you gotta take that off. It's not through long again. It's 15,000. What? What does that number mean? The nation's oh. core is open. We'll burn and spread its poison until the entire continent is dead. So
to stop lying. The Atlock was in charge. It was the Atlock. Tell me how to put it out. The heat will instantly vaporize the water. How do we work. put it out? Right. How? You are dealing with something that has never occurred on this planet. What? How do we Boron. put it out? Boron and sand. It'll create problems of its own, but I, I don't see any other way. How much sand? 5,000 tons. At least evacuate Pripyat. It's three kilometers away. This will go much easier if you talk to me about the things you do understand and not about the things you do not understand. There's a hotel. He still got them clothes on. After they just said all that, take these clothes off me. Get them off me. Oh, God, this is real life, y'all. Lord. I'm gonna stay. I'm. I, I, I'm gonna stay calm though. In God, I trust. So I'm gonna stay calm. <clears throat> Are you here because of the fire? Anything we should be worried about? Uh. Mm hmm. No. <laughs> the lies. So that man over there smoking a cigarette. So I mean, would he care? And where do you find boron and a whole lot of sand? Remind them about the perimeter. That's still, they still close though. No, no, no. They're too close. They can't get over the fire. Or the wind will have to carry it. He already over the core. Uh oh. Dang. He is dangerous. Yeah, Sir, it's serious. What do I tell the others? Bring him out. Is there any other way to go? So the next one in. What? Tell them to approach from the west. Well, I mean, obviously they can't bring him out because they gotta drop them. But it's like, dang. Those people in the helicopter. Oh, which nephews? Sinta, who's 14, and little Boris, who's 5. They're dropping sand and boron on the fire. Where are you going? Chernobyl. I like her. I like him too. Not him, but the, the guy with the glass. I like him too. But that lady, boy. There are 50,000 people in the city. The radiation isn't high enough to evacuate. Lynn isn't a physicist. Exactly. Physicist. Physicist. That's what that lady is. We're staying here. Yes, we are. And we'll be dead in five years. Wow. Mm. Hey, <sighs> he like stressed. Now it's like reality. Now it's real. Like, how how you how can you fix this? But the fact that they tried to cover it up, though, like a new kit line to Sweden has detected radiation. We identified it as a byproduct of our fuel. Uh oh. Okay. Like, oh well, no. What's the point in the beginning of the guys trying to cover it up? Like. <laughs> You would think that somebody would try Not to... letting children play outside. No. But y'all, y'all are. Want to smoke. Like, how are they more serious, taking it more serious than the act? What? I, I don't understand trying to cover it up. There has been a nuclear accident in the Soviet Union, and the Soviets have admitted that it happened. The Soviets may have been fairly quick to acknowledge the accident because evidence. 2 p.m. April 27, 36 hours after the explosion. I just don't understand why would you try to cover or lie about something like this. <laughs> hey, about to dip. Now they trying to probably tell him don't panic. Okay. Just 
crazy. Yeah. Sir, you the one advise them not to even be truthful. I wish I knew what she was saying. But it's like, dude, they got they gotta leave their pets and stuff. Oh God. Oh Y'all, I don't even wanna imagine anything like this happening and having to leave my dog, man. Y'all, the next series we watch, can, can y'all come in a, a comedy? <laughs> Some people was comment, commenting like, you've never heard of Chernobyl? No, I'm sorry, I I haven't. But I I know about it now. Better late than never, right? I'm from the Belarusian Institute for Nuclear Energy. Do you have permission? Listen to me, I need to speak to someone urgently. Yes, it's not a radiological survey. All these cigarettes. How do you still possibly smoke a cigarette and it's <sighs> with everything that's going on? The guards arrested this woman at the South Checkpoint. Olana Yurevnyu Homyuk, chief physicist, Belarusian is physicist. That's a hard word to say. Physicist. Smothering the coal will put the fire out, but the temperature will eventually increase. You don't have a month, you have approximately two days. Mm. It's going to burn through the biological shield here by Tuesday. I'm guessing that every pipe in the building ruptured, and then there are those fire engines that I saw on the way in. The tanks are full. He is now. He's stressed. It's, it's serious, sir. It's much serious than y'all thought. Ten minutes. Then I'm back on the phone, apologizing. Do you understand the damage this has done? It's not their fault. Boris? Professor Legasso will deliver our briefing. The uranium will melt the sand, creating a kind of lava. You have made lava. When the lava enters these tanks, it will instantly superheat and vaporize, causing a significant thermal explosion. The release of radiation will be severe and will impact all of Soviet Ukraine. What do you mean, uh, impact? For Belarusia and the Ukraine, impact means completely uninhabitable for a minimum of 100 years. And how long before this happens? Approximately 48 to 72 hours. They are so calm. They're not calm. I know they stress, but... We may have a solution. What's the solution, please? We need to find three plant workers and give us the access we need to pump out the tanks. We're asking for your permission to kill three men. To save 60 million people, possibly. All victories inevitably come at a cost. He is stressed out. Who wouldn't be, though? Oh, my God, y'all. My heart. Oh, God. I, I have nothing to say. The valve will be difficult to operate, so we'll need three men. Who about to do that? You'll do it. Because nobody else can. You do it for your families, the generations to come. And if you don't, millions will die. Yep. If you tell me that's not enough, I won't believe you. I spent on the people who do this. Mm. Go into that water. Because it must be done. On an ankle. There's Pilot. Baranov. I'm over here looking to see how close I live to a power plant, nuclear power plant, any plant. Oh, 
that was my reaction to episode two of Chernobyl. And uh, I really have no words. I'm trying to be careful with my words. I I know last time I last episode I kept saying, "Oh, this is scary. I'm scared," and stuff like that. I'm trying to be really careful with my words moving forward with this with this series. Yeah, it's just bizarre, unbelievable. Uh, y'all said that this is going to get crazier and crazier by the episodes, episodes and. It is. It's just bizarre. That's all I can say. It's just absolutely insane that something like this happened. I'm pretty sure people probably are still dealing with the effects of Chernobyl now. Because this was what? Wouldn't they say this was like, what, 1988, I believe? Let me see. 1986. So... Only thing that I can say is I am praying because that's 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 all I know to do um, is pray. I, a lot of people may not be religious. I am, and the only thing that I can say is just praying for everybody that was affected by this, that is still affected by this, and yeah, it's just bizarre. I don't want to use the term scary no more. That's not who I am. I believe in God. I serve God, and I I, I don't believe in fear. So, um, of course, fear is real, but I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not about to do that. We're not doing that. So, yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching this episode. And remember, I love you. God loves you. I'm. Sam prayed up. I'm praying for you guys. I'm praying for everybody's safety. I'm praying for unforeseen dangers, anything that we cannot see with our eye. I will check you guys out in my next video. My dog is at the door crying because it is time for her to go out. So I'm going to take her out and I'm going to enjoy my day with my child and my family and stay prayed up. Ain't no use in worrying. I mean, hey. Comment some comedy miniseries or not. It don't have to be a miniseries, but series for the next series that we watch next month. Cause <laughs> okay, but I love y'all and I'm out of here. Make sure you guys go follow me on Patreon um, because we are going to be watching the behind the scenes of this. Should I? I'm going to keep my promise and do the the making of and the BTS and stuff. But we are going to be watching um, the behind behind the scenes of this. I may watch the documentary. Probably. I may. I may. I don't know. But yeah, go follow me over there for this full length reaction. And um, for more exclusive content, I am going to be doing a live stream at the end of the month. And we're going to have our poll, our monthly polls. So yeah, guys, I love you. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye. Hey, what's up, guys? I wanted to remind you all to join me on Patreon for full-length reactions and exclusive content. But there is a way to support the channel without spending a single dime, and that's by hitting that subscribe button, liking this video, and turning on your post notifications so you'll know every time I drop a video. Thanks for checking out another video. Bye!